Alright, what's going on guys? It's Alman. and welcome back to another Call of Duty Modern Warfare video. In today's video, I'll be going over the MP5 because I finished all the mastery challenges. There's one that I didn't finish, but I'm still going to go over it and just say I completed it because I don't, I'm don't. i not going to be using the MP5 for a while because I'm still busy doing other challenges for my um, Obsidian stuff. And I don't want to stick to one gun for too long and just not finish the challenges for your other guns. So just basically I finished them except one and you'll see why so let's get into my mp5 but before I get into it make sure you do leave a like on this video don't forget to leave a comment and subscribe and let me know what you think of the video so uh, my goal is to reach 320 by the end of the month and hopefully we can reach that uh, but yeah make sure you do subscribe if you are new here but yeah let's get into these challenges and hopefully you do like these types of videos because I actually do take the time and do all the challenges and everything like that because not many youtubers have been going for the emblems and people are focused on warzone and other things and stuff like that but yeah and just I'm here to give you the best advice and just for any new players so let's go to my loadouts and I'll do I will just show, show you guys my class setup and everything like that because I do have it as I bet because whenever I get like butthurt or pissed off in a match I do pull out the class and I just go I bet so then I pull out the mp5 with my rpg with the whole loadout and everything like that so this is usually the loadout I run basically my trial class setup if I'm, you guys can say um I usually do switch this up because uh sometimes it's, I used to use the mp5 a lot and now I'm switching over to the mp7 sometimes because mp7 actually has the most kills um for me the thing is, I would over, have over like 10,000 plus kills with a gun if I sticked with it after I got Damascus. But the thing is, since they released Obsidian, it forced me to go for challenges for the other guns. But it is what it is. Can't really control how the game works. So let's go to the challenges. So get 500 kills and to unlock gold, did that. Get 2,000 kills, did that. So the thing is, you have to do 500 first and then you have to do a 2,000. So it doesn't go 500 and then transfer to your 2,000. No, no, no. So you have to do 500 kills first. So basically, altogether, you're doing 2,500 kills. Not too bad. You get that over time. Shipment's like the best way. Uh, just drop kills. Usually, I just play shipment, just go ham. Um, I can drop 100 plus kills, um, 80 plus kills, stuff like that. And just go ham as much as you can. That's what I would recommend for any new players. Uh, kill streaks do not count towards these. So don't even think about like running a wheel soon or anything like that. This all has to be coming from the gun. So don't think about that. And then headshots, I have 250. And then I, this is the one challenge I haven't finished, Obsidian. But the thing is, I didn't want to go for it because it's just taking too long and I don't want to be aiming at the head. And this is the only challenge I'm going to be going for. So it's like there's no reason to. So that's why I'm just holding off on this till I go for other challenges and so I don't have to worry about them. But yeah, so now let's get into these emblems and you know all these hard challenges. Uh, so some of these are hard, some of these are easy, it just depends on how you play the game. Uh, me personally, one of them was hard, the rest of them are pretty easy. So that's why I want to really stress this out too much for any new players. You can go for these, but um, it's up to you guys' personal preference. Go for the one. So also another thing I forgot to note. Um, you can only do all these challenges and emblems if you do have gold on the gun. If you do not have gold on the gun, you cannot do these weapon master challenges because it won't be unlocked for you. And you don't have to get Damascus on every gun to unlock weapon master challenges. It's just you have to get gold. And that's not too hard. A lot of people do have gold on their favorite gun or whatever. So I wouldn't really stress this out too much. So the first one you have to get for, to get the gold um, emblem for the mastery MP5. You can fit the kills ADSing while well, laser. Not too bad. I would just build your class setup with a laser. Um, any attachments work. So usually the class setup I run. Uh, this is here my class setup. Basically what I would just do is take off your monolithic suppressor and just put on any laser. Probably like the one that has the tag laser. Or honestly you could probably run the 5 milliwatt laser. I'd probably run the 5 milliwatt laser instead of a monolithic. But that's just me. Um, next one, get 50 kills with sliding. Uh, shipments, like, honestly, the way. Um, I'm going to be saying ship shipment a lot because all these challenges are just for shipment. And so if you're going to be doing your SMGs, just do them on shipment. That's literally the best way. So 50 kills with sliding, not too bad. That's how the uh, emblem looks. We'll go into them later, later on in this video. And then just do a sh quick showcase of how all of them look. Um, then you gotta get, so after you get your 50 sliding kills, um, just do a round of shipment, that's the easiest way. Just slide every corner with your, and just shoot. Um, you can't really slide and aim, I've tried it a few times. Sometimes it works, um, sometimes it doesn't. But uh, hopefully I can get better with that. Um, 25 kills while in smoke. Um, usually me and my friend will just do that, we'll just throw smoke everywhere and just run that. And a lot of people are going for their challenges, like Bruin, because really uh, the Bruin has become a meta weapon. So a lot of people are just going for their challenges at the moment to unlock the Bruin. So at least I see a lot of smoke here and there. 
but um yeah just run a smoke and just shoot go prone what i would recommend on shipment especially just go prone and you'll finish it pretty quick um and then the last one which is in my opinion the hardest one um get through using three attachments get five headshot kills while sliding uh that's hard because you kind of have to hit fire your headshots and the thing is because you can't aim while you're sliding it doesn't count i mean you could probably can if the thing is my experience with it i have never been able to do it while aiming and sliding it's just an issue i guess with me um i don't know but it's just for me it has never worked i just had to get sliding hit fire kills and just three attachments only the three attachments i would recommend um well i use basically i use the merc forward grip i use the 45 round mag and i use the slider fan it take off the f tag and take off the monolithic and that's basically the class setup i ran for uh, to finish this last challenge just because it's a pain in the ass to do and you know people are going to struggle with this so um that's just usually what i would recommend for any kind of smg you're going to go for but just for the mp5 that's what i would recommend but yeah now let's do the showcase but before that um just want to do another quick overview of my class setup i do have obsidian armor rpg if you guys didn't know but um that's basically all i run then eod ghost and amped um i wouldn't run ghost if we're going to be playing on shipment run um what I would probably run instead is just run hard, uh, not hardline, run overkill and run, put a riot shield on your back. Just because it pisses off people and, you know, extra protection from the back. If someone just spawns right in front of you, you know, it comes in clutch. C4s as always because, you know, it's just annoying. And then stims in case, because sometimes I get C4 and I live and I get the extra stim and I can just run back at them. And I get my tactical sprint back. So that's why another thing I use stims a lot. Um, but yeah, that's the class setup. Now let's get into the emblems and calling cards. So uh, hopefully it's organized. Um, sometimes my sh uh, emblems and calling cards aren't organized. I don't know why. Uh, let's see if we can find this. Okay, let's actually organize right now. So here's the gold one. Uh, not too bad. And I'll equip it. So I like how gold looks. Honestly, it looks way better than the other ones. Not Damascus though, but gold actually looks pretty solid. And this is something I would probably run if I didn't have the new color guard. So here's the gold one, pretty straightforward. Uh, platinum is whatever, I mean, I'll equip it too. Um, it goes well with my emblem. So I try to match, what I usually try to do is I try to match my emblem with the calling card. But the thing is with my new calling card, it has the orange, it has the white, so it goes pretty well. Um, so not too bad. Then I have my Damascus one. Um, a lot of people, I don't I actually see a lot of people rocking Damascus calling cards or mastery emblems in general or calling cards. I think people just want animated stuff. So a lot of people like animated stuff. Like I have this and I just don't use it. Like I have a lot of animated stuff and I just don't use it. I just stick with my new calling card. Like I have over 246 emblems and I just use one. So <laughs> this is what it is. So those are the little calling cards. Let me put on my original calling back card back on. Now let's go to the emblems. Gotta find the MP5 real quick. Because I have a lot of master or er, mastery emblems unlocked. So I'm still going through all of them. Uh, let's see if we can find it. I think I probably scrolled past it. Uh, let's see. MP5, where are you at? That's the HDR. There we go. Uh, so here we go. Here's the gold one. Pretty straightforward. I'm not going to equip it just because I don't want to lose the calling card. So gold looks pretty straightforward. Not too bad. Um, platinum. Here's platinum. Platinum just always looks terrible in my opinion. I don't know why. I wish it could have done better. It just reminds me of like that one thing people use in film, but it is what it is. Uh, Damascus. Damascus looks pretty sick. Damascus really does catch my eye on this MP5. So I would probably rock this if I didn't have certain calling cards. 100% I would probably be rocking this. And then Obsidian. I feel like the Damascus one is more noticeable than the Obsidian one because when people see Damascus, they're like, oh, you're tryhard. Not many people think of Obsidian because whenever people see Obsidian, they think of um, you not having Damascus because Damascus, you have to get on every single gun. Obsidian, you can just get on one gun. So I can see why people rock the Damascus one instead of Obsidian, but that's all personal preference and is what it is. But yeah, that's going to be it for this video, guys. So what I would recommend, um, Chew House, Shipment, uh, a lot of sliding kills done, a lot of kills getting there. Just remember, kill streaks do not count towards your kills or towards your gun for all just what i'm saying and um yeah pretty straightforward it's just gonna take you a while just take your time with it and if you are kill hungry just for sure shipment is like the best way because i drop 100 plus kills and i finished that pretty quick so that was one of the first guns i actually got my damascus con card i do have a lot more so um i'll probably talk about those in a later on video when i get the chance but yeah i do have i'm I have a, video, a lot of videos planned, just overall. I still have to talk about my um, Elite controller. I just haven't had time. But yeah, uh, that's going to be it for this video, guys. Make sure you do leave a like on this video. Don't forget to leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Hopefully, we're going to 320 subs by the end of this month. That's the goal. We only have a week left to hit that. But hopefully, we can hit it. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Peace out, guys.